initiate. Hmm. What's the situation? We're waiting on acknowledgement from Reptile. It could be a while. Don't take all night. Ah, Coltman. I'd like to perform one final check. Everyone, take a break. I've got some concerns about the dummy. Now's your chance, Snake. Jack, you've returned. What's wrong? Your body temperature has fallen. You're imagining things. Have you come to destroy me? Your pulse has quickened slightly. Just chilly. It's freezing in here. I see. Boss. What is it, Jack? Boss. Is that you? What is it, Jack? Do you have... regrets? Regrets? About your final mission. My final mission? The one in Grosnigrad. I've never been on a mission there. September 1964. You betrayed the United States. And then... I killed you. I have no record of such a debriefing. Listen to me. I have to know. Did you defect to the Soviet Union of your own free will? There is no mission record matching that description. Ah. Jack. You're not the boss. The boss is dead. Don't do it, Jack. Drop your weapon, big boss. Mammal showed the same response back at the lab. It's a sure sign that you are nearby. It's an honor to meet you again. Big boss. I've seen that coyote before. Lobo is the name. Lobo? Smells like a rotting corpse to me. <coughs> I know all about you. Selena Yarsk, ten years ago. You were involved. The operation to eliminate the traitor. I planned the whole thing. Shouldn't a suit like you be back in Langley? What the hell are you doing here? It's what the CIA does best. Ensure people in the know keep their mouths shut, or else pack them off someplace where there's no one to listen. I get it. Trying to claw your way back into their good graces. It's not quite that simple. My aim is a new world order. Detente, the NPT. Salt, TTBT. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis, the structure of the Cold War has been coming apart at the seams. A new age is dawning. An age in which Peace Walker, an infallible nuclear deterrent system with the patience and cold logic of a machine, will play a vital role. That's your plan. Assigning humanity's sins to a bunch of machines. <laughs> Quite the romantic. Remember the Cuban Missile Crisis? When the commander of a Russian sub refused an order to launch a nuclear-armed torpedo at an American destroyer. In retrospect, that man was a hero. He saved the world from all-out nuclear war. Humans are incapable of destroying themselves. But an AI wouldn't hesitate to push the button. Precisely. Making it the one real deterrent. People hesitate, lose their nerve. Isn't that why deterrence theory works in the first place? No. Machines don't make mistakes. Only men do. That's why a fully automated, mechanized deterrent like Peace Walker is needed. Once our system is embraced, Langley will again turn its attention to Latin America as the cockpit of the new Cold War. Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Peace Walker will be deployed along Central America's entire Caribbean coast. All of North America, South America, and the West Indies will be within its range. We'll bring law and order to the entire continent. And you'll still be calling the shots. <laughs> you still don't get it. The Age of Heroes is over. Buried alongside the boss and her bankrupt beliefs. 
From now on, our only heroes will be machines. Surely no one understands that better than you. Except perhaps your partner. A deterrent for hire. An army without borders. You've invented a new system too, and an admirable one at that. That's supposed to be an offer. I'm not offering anything. If I'm to sell my new system, you and yours have got to go. Wait. Coldman, I have questions for him. Information critical to the completion of the mammal pod. Give him to me. Hmm. Don't waste too much time. We've just received word that the Salt 2 talks are on schedule. We will launch on time. Snake, you are going to help me resurrect her. Shut up! The boss is dead. Bring him. Take him away. Snake, I hope you can hear me. Word is you've been captured by Strangelove. I'm guessing they confiscated your gear, but I know you've still got something left. Search your memory, Snake. Any word from Snake? I can't get through. Strangelove must still have him. No. We just have to trust the boss and wait. For how long? Amanda, you're cute when you're angry. But please calm down. He's prepared for situations like this. With what? They'll find whatever he has on him. No, they won't. Because this is something a lot more personal than equipment. And Snake never would have gotten rid of it. I didn't defect. I'm loyal, to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country, or loyalty to me? Your country, or your old mentor? Your mission, or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit, or your personal feelings? The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. Rise and shine. Coldman's greed does not concern me. I'm only interested in one thing. The truth. I'm a scientist, an AI developer. But not an AI myself. I'm a scientist, and as a scientist I find this distasteful. You understand? I am a scientist, and I expect answers that make sense. Now, what do you know? Your boss defected from the US, taking a Davy Crockett with her, and used it to launch a nuclear strike on Soviet territory. That much I know from the CIA's official debriefing. Did she defect or not? Answer me! Did she or did she not die for her country? She sold us out. My orders were to take care of her. Liar! I want to know the truth! 
Brace yourself. <laughs> I know that, but what I don't know is your motive. Why would a hero, loyal to the end, betray her country? What really happened? What did you see? She betrayed more than just her country. She betrayed me, too. Then how do you explain that bandana? Why keep a memento of a traitor? What are you talking about? And what about that scar? Don't tell me you have the same scars by sheer coincidence. Don't touch me! Hmm. Decorating your body with her memory. Rather effeminate, if you ask me. <sighs> Answer me! <clears throat> <clears throat> She sacrificed her life for America, didn't she? Sacrificed all for a country that cared nothing for her soul or for her dignity. And you... <clears throat> yes, I do hate you. But even you must understand how I feel. I have a right to know what she died for. Why won't you tell me? You're no longer one of Washington's lapdogs. You have no moral obligation to your country. Answer me! Would you see your beloved boss brought back to life? Then say it. Say she died for America. That she remained true to the end. Gave her life for the country that betrayed her time and again. No. That woman was a traitor. Why? For what purpose? She went to her grave, cursing her country. Why? Who is it? What are you protecting? I'm not helping you finish that thing. Face it. The boss is dead. Whatever's inside that machine, it isn't her. I'm raising the voltage. The next one might kill you! Why? Why not just give up? He's passed out. Get in there! 